Good morning, my name's Richard. What's your name? My name is Chema Jimenez. Jose Maria Jimenez. Chema okay, Jimenez. Chema. Jose Maria Jimenez, Jimenez Alonso. Correct. And your Chema. Chema is short name in Spain. I'll try to remember. All people call me Chema. Chema. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, and you are doing ISC 2. Can I just see your identification, please? Yeah. Thank you very much. No worries. That's great. Thank you. Now, we'll start with the topic. What are we going to talk about? My topic is futsal. Futsal. Sport. Yeah. Okay. Do you know this is sport? Uh, I think so. Yeah. From good. looking at the pictures, I think I do, yes. Good, good. Uh, so I want to start. Uh, my sport is uh, similar like football, but uh, the rules is different. For example, rules FIFA, we play in pitch indoor. You know, we play four players against four plus goalkeeper two and we play 40 per 20 the pitch. The pitch must be a terrafless or parquet. And the rules is totally different. For example, the ball is different, it's smaller than in football, but it's uh, heavier than in football. And how long have you been playing futsal? Oh, I was, uh, I started when I was uh, eight years here in Spain. So uh, I know uh, all about this sport. And the rules is to, for example, uh, uh, we can change in, 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 in each moment the player, not like in football, it's only three chains, the player, but the chain is free during all the match. The match is 40 minutes, 20 uh, first half and other 20, and the half time is 10 minutes. So in your opinion, what are the advantages of playing futsal compared with playing traditional football? For me, the best uh, advantage is very clear is the technical. You know, the technical in futsal because we play in a small pitch, and for example, the kids start to improve mm -hmm. in technical. In football, you know, it's bigger the pitch, so it's more difficult contact with the ball. It's totally different. So for me, this is this sport is very good idea. Start the kids in this sport, yes, yes. and they going to improve in the time. You know, I think you need this in England. Yeah, I was working three years in England too. Oh. Because, yeah, you can oh. my, my picture. Wow. Yeah, I won three times the league there and FA Cup two times too. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah in England. England? Yeah, yeah. In wow. England. Which team did you coach? Baku United. Baku United team. Baku. Now the name is Baku London United. Is that because of the sponsor? Is that because of the sponsorship? Yeah, the sponsor is, is from Baku. For me, it's a special sport, you know, for me, it's very nice. Are you working now as a professional coach? Yeah, yeah, I am professional, but I, at the moment I am without job because mm. I, my last project in England uh, finished on August and now I start looking for wow. other, other things. You mentioned the advantages. Would you say there could be a few disadvantages of futsal? For me, you know, because I love this sport, it's very difficult to uh, uh, tell you uh, some disadvantage. But maybe the problem is, uh, like in this picture, we need uh, more time to improve and to grow. You know, for example, in England, uh, the first league uh, uh, started, I think, uh, five, six years ago, you know. So we need time. Maybe this is another problem. For example, TV is very difficult to enter in the program. It's, for example, for football, is is, is very easy. What but might happen in the future? Do you think futsal might grow? I think so. I sure, totally sure. Why, why are you sure about that? Because this sport is very nice. When you play or when you watch one time one match, you uh, you want to continue. You want to follow uh, watching this this sport. For me, it's very nice sport. It's very mm -hmm. nice sport. Tell me, tell me something else. And the the last is about my experience. You know, now I am professional coach in this sport. I was working many years. I live in Russia, in in England, three years. Wow. So this is my sport. And when you you want to watch some match, maybe you can see me in, in this match. You know? Absolutely, I will definitely <laughs> bear that in mind. What advice would you give to a young boy or a young girl who wants to take up futsal? Uh, for me, uh, not only the technical, like I, I told you before, but uh, also we as sport is very important. It's like humidity, you know, it's like a good atmosphere, you know, good relationship is one thing, um, because the formation is, is important too in our sport. Okay. 
Thank you very much. Um, thank you for talking about your topic. Thank you. Now we will move on to the collaborative task. Okay. <clears throat> okay. For the next part, I will tell you something. Then you have to ask me questions to find out more information and make comments. You need to keep the conversation going. After four minutes, I will end the conversation. Are you ready? Of course. Okay. I am thinking of changing my job, so I have looked into various courses. Now, I don't know which course to choose. Okay. Are you working now? I'm working now as a lecturer at a university, but I, I really want to change my job. Uh, which is the reason you can you can change this this job? Well, we only live. Are you happy? I mean, in this. Job? I am happy, but we only live once, and I've always had this special dream. And but I need to look at some. I need to study, so I've been looking at different courses which are connected to my uh, dream job. Did you go to the university and ask them about the course? I have been to a university. And I've also been looking online at oh, different right. options and about this new job. Understand. And which course uh, you have at the moment? I noticed a professional chef diploma, Good. level one, Good. and a couple of other possibilities. But uh, do you like the, the, the cook? You know, do you like cooking every day? I like cooking. I don't want to be a cook. My dream has always been to open my own restaurant. Mm, good idea then, uh, maybe good idea you can make this, this course, you know? I'm not sure because the professional chef diploma, it's a technical course about food preparation. But you have time because maybe it's so other problem. If mm. you are working now, maybe you don't have time to do this course. Well, that's true. And I've also seen online a very interesting business administration course. Yeah, good, good is better for you because your idea is open one restaurant mm. and maybe it's a good idea that uh, this course helped you in the future to open this, this restaurant, maybe. This is true, but I feel that to have a successful restaurant as an owner, the more I know about food, the better. But do you want to open the restaurant in your area, in your place? I'm hoping I would love to open, I live in a small town near London, and I would love to open a small Spanish restaurant. Oh, good idea, because the Spanish food is the best in the world, you know? Of course. So it's very good idea to open this, this restaurant for you. Mm. I think uh, you can go to the university and make this course, or maybe you can choose other, other, other person to help you in this matter. Well, I am going to choose another person. Okay. Okay, I think it's is, is good idea. A very special find, person. Yeah, for example, here in Spain, we got uh, many people ready to help you in this, in this matter. Well, I already have somebody in mind. You, uh, you are ready? Uh, I, already, yeah. I already have a person. I'm thinking of a special person who's going to help me. Ah, oh, good idea, good idea. But, but you got now this person? Yes, because she's my wife. So? And she's Spanish. But you know, maybe work with your wife in the same restaurant, oh. you must think about this too. Oh, yeah. But is, is, is she as ready to, to help you? It's a good idea. Because the wife in the, in the, in the, kitch in the kitchen is, is very good. Well, now, now you mention it, I'm thinking about 24 7, you know, every day, every hour of every day working with my wife could cause some problems. Maybe, but you know, this is the life. Mm. I, I sure when you stay at home with her, it's, it's, it's very good too. So don't worry at all. I sure you, you can work with your wife without problem. Absolutely. Thank you very much. You. Now we will move on to the conversation task. Let's talk about the world of work. In, as you probably noticed, in the UK, many, many teenagers have weekend jobs or holiday jobs. Yeah. What's your opinion of teenagers working? My opinion is very clear. If they need uh, our working, it's good for them. But the problem, we must try to do the best with these teenagers because maybe it's a good idea, for example, make a sport during the weekend. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe the, the social problem uh, with these teenagers is we need to work in this 
in this weekend, but... Uh, but when I was a teenager, I used to have jobs. I didn't need the job. I mean, my parents would have given me money, but I think I gained something else from having these jobs. I know, but uh, maybe this is your particular uh, situation in the past, you know, but maybe now teenagers need to work because maybe their parents uh, cannot help them. That's true, so, but, so. but are you saying that if a teenager does not need to work for money, they shouldn't work? Is that your opinion? I think if they don't need to work for money, I think maybe my opinion very clear is uh, the teenager must uh, be other thing, you know, maybe go to the to the uh, char or maybe uh, go to the play futsal or play football or other sport. I think it's good idea. Or maybe but learn other language, you know, during this weekend. That's true, but if a teenager has a job, a part-time job, yeah. surely they are gaining. Not, they're not just earning money, yeah. but they're gaining other things. Yeah, maybe it's, it's good idea they can help the society, you yeah. know, during the weekend. Maybe they can clean the street, or, or they or can help other, other teenagers with other big problems, maybe. But maybe they, but also, I, I think it might be a question of, a quite, of becoming more responsible. It's a good idea to teach to them to be more responsible during this weekend. Maybe it's a good idea because now, not only in the UK, even in, in, in Spain, the teenagers need uh, to choose very good way, I think, is my opinion. Mm. Okay. Thank you for discussing that. You now, you. now we're going to move on to the listening task. Okay. Okay. You are going to hear a talk about renewable energy. You will hear the talk twice. The first time, just listen. Then I will ask you to tell me generally what the speaker is talking about. Are you ready? Of course.
Can you tell me in one or two sentences what the speaker was talking about? He was speaking about the energy with the wind. Uh, he was uh, trying to explain the benefit and drawbacks uh, and uh, disadvantage about the, this new energy. Thank you. I'm going to give you some paper. Okay. Now listen to the talk again. This time make some notes as you listen if you want to. Then I will ask you to tell me what reasons the speaker gives for and against the use of wind energy. Okay. Are you ready? Of course. When it comes to investing in wind turbines to create electricity, there are various factors that need to be considered. Most obviously, the creation of wind energy is clean, unlike the use of coal or oil. Generating energy from the wind doesn't produce pollutants or require harmful chemicals. And it's this factor which weighs most heavily with those worried about the future of our planet. Moreover, wind will never run out, unlike other natural, non-renewable resources. So it would seem to be a winner in at least two very significant areas. There are those, however, who continue to argue against the use of wind turbines. And it has to be said their arguments tend to focus on much more detailed issues and largely ignore the bigger overall picture. It's claimed, for example, that the blades of wind turbines can sometimes be dangerous to wildlife, particularly birds. This may be true, but it seems a small price to pay compared to using other means of power generation, which could end up destroying the habitats of those very same birds. In addition, the sound turbines create can admittedly be a problem for those nearby. Perhaps a more significant point, though, and certainly one often mentioned by those who object to turbines, is that it requires a lot of open land to set them up, and cutting down trees seems to defeat the green purpose. Those who criticize wind energy point out that the wind doesn't always blow consistently, and that's certainly a drawback right now. Turbines typically operate at only 30% capacity. If the weather isn't in your favor, you may end up without electricity. And when there is wind, well, severe storms or extremely high winds might damage turbines, especially when they're struck by lightning. As such weather already damages existing methods of power production, however, this line of attack seems to me without much merit. Ultimately, wind is free. In suitable geographical locations, it's there for the taking. While startup costs are still off-putting for some, it's undeniable that the overall cost of producing wind energy have been dropping significantly in recent years. And as it gains popularity, it'll continue to become more affordable. In many countries, the costs of purchasing and installing turbines are subsidized by government schemes aimed to promote expansion. There are, no question, a number of problems associated with turbines which still require solutions. But in the longer view, the case for them appears beyond doubt. Okay. Now tell me what reasons the speaker gives for and against the use of wind energy. You have one minute, so I'll put the timer on and that will help you. Oh, Here? Okay. Well, I'll, I can do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. He was speaking about the, the wind is, is clean, you know, much more than oil, for example, no pollution, it's very good for the planet. Um, he said uh, it's free too, it's very important, it's free because the planet gives us this, this wind. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said uh, he, uh, too about the, about the government help, you know, with uh, skills uh, for the people. And after this advantage, for example, he said about the problem with the birds because the birds can diet in this in this contribution, you know, uh, destroyed habitats, you know, it's no good. Uh, maybe destroyed. Uh, uh, he said about the trees, about the, the this uh, these plants in, in this place, and also about the store, hard store, about the risk of the wind, uh, and he said too about the thirty percent capacity only keeping this in this machine, you know. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for you. Thank you, Shema. Um, that's the end of the test. It's been very nice speaking to you. Goodbye. For me too. Thank you. Have a nice day.